Meantime, it's been about six months since the launch of those long-awaited Bitcoin ETFs. And while some are hailing it as the most successful ETF launch in history, some financial advisors are not yet feeling the crypto captivation. Our markets and crypto investing reporter Tanea McKeels here uh, detailing the finding in a new CNBC.com article. What is the lead, Tanea? You know, Bitcoin ETFs are not winning the hearts and minds of financial advisors. And that's pretty notable because one of the biggest cases for the Bitcoin ETFs was that advisors, uh, either advisors or their clients, wanted to be making these Bitcoin allocations, but they did not have an appropriate regulated vehicle through which to do that. If you, you know, I spoke to many advisors who did have very, uh, many very young tech forward um, clients who were already interested in crypto before these ETFs came out. But most of the advisors I talked to, uh, you know, say that they are still not interested in them and they kind of never were in the first place. Is it possible that some of the advisors' clients might have IBID or some other crypto bet somehow, but just don't want to admit it? Certainly. <laughs> or have their own a Coinbase account and are at, hard at work on their own. Yeah, definitely. And we talked to many advisors who said, you know, we have clients who are interested in crypto and they have a Coinbase account. And because they do and they're kind of sophisticated already, they don't really need these Bitcoin ETFs. There, um, you know, there is a lot of detail. We can take it wherever you want, but it really comes down to time in the market and regulatory compliance. A lot of these advisors said that they wanted to see more of a track record. So for some people, that was three years. For some people, that was more than 15 years. Um, and there still seems to be a lot of risk associated with, you know, events like FTX and all the way back to 2014, Mt. Gox. Uh, a lot of fear of that. That said, we did sort of frame it as a successful launch overall. You're on board with that school of thought? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you look at the flows coming in, it's definitely been successful. It is coming from a lot of institutions, large funds, pensions, but it's a little murkier at, you know, the retail investor level for those people who are working with advisors. Advisors cite a lot of issues around compliance. So maybe yeah. uh, people are interested or they even are interested in making those allocations, but then broker dealers either don't allow them to do so, or they do allow them to do so, but only to a certain extent, and that's kind of different for everybody. Um, so it's still not clear, and even the ones that do, you know, no one, everyone's kind of afraid of getting hit with FINRA fines or lawsuits. So it just, it goes all the way up. So it is a regulated vehicle, but it's still not regulated enough for most advisors. <laughs>